Was that a super cool cinematic shot or was it stupid? I'll find out. <laughs> oh hell, they're gonna moo at me the whole time. So hi, hello, hello friends, how the heck are ya? Are my light, <laughs> my lighting needs to adjust. Oh my God, my cows. Hey. Hi, hello, how the heck are you doing? If you didn't know, I bought an enclosed trailer and turned it into a mobile shop for my business. And I took it out the first time this past weekend when we did our little meetup when Christine was here. And it was so fun, such a good success for my first time out. And it was just, it was, like I said, we just had a genuine blast and I'm just so proud of it. And I haven't given you guys a like fully finished tour. So this thing's disgusting because <laughs> when we went to the place, no fault to anybody. It was just, you know, you can, I can't change the weather, Jackie. So it was a little bit gross, <laughs> a little disgusting. And so my trailer just needs some TLC because everybody had muddy shoes and boots and that's okay. So I'm gonna do a deep clean and then I'm gonna put it back together like when it was being shopped because I think that'll be the easiest way to like give you guys a nice full tour, let you see the whole kit and caboodle. And then I have to take everything back into my office because then I'm gonna be e-commerce until the next, you know, place where I have my trailer. I'm just checking it out to make sure. I put wallpaper on the sides and so I'm just making sure that that's gonna be stable because obviously it's wallpaper on plywood because this was just literally a plywood box when I got it. So I'm going to do that. I'll update you guys as I go and then you get a full tour of the trailer. And then actually, honestly, this is what's going to happen. I'm sure I'm going to clean out this entire trailer. I'll give you a nice full MTV style tour so you can see the whole thing put together and what it would look like if you got to come shop it. Then we will move everything into my um, office. I might need to change it to a t-shirt though, because it's actually warm today and I don't want to be hot. So I might actually just steal one of my hot cowgirl shit shirts because I need another one anyway. Haha, -ha. perks of owning merch. You can just do your own. Okay, so I have set up my shop like it will be set up. Minus just like a few little things so that you can get a full tour so that it, you know, the feng shui makes sense to you. There's gonna still definitely be some add-ons. Like I wanna put something on this because to help keep tracking in and out because I just did like a rough cleaning because I know it's about to get dusty. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put everything back in the bins, take it in the house and then do like a nice deep clean to really make sure she's clean, you know? <laughs> but I figured I could give you a nice rough view of how it looks set up because I'm really proud of it and it's like super freaking cute. So let's get into it. Okay, so. This is how she looks from the outside. Okay, we've got some cute lights. The lighting is gonna have to adjust, so just bear with me. We have the two bins of plushies, whether you're an Oswald or Snow fan. There are more plushies coming, by the way. And then, as you walk in, this is the price board. I have some twinkly lights, and then I have all of the canvases hanging on these either shelves or on just some command hooks. And then I have stickers of course and then the 11 by 14s are in my little cubes that i have for my kia and then over here i've got either the keychains magnets or the pins and those are organized and then the cubbies also have the leftover blankets i say leftover because i'm not ordering more until it gets back to blanket season on the other side, we have these four are filled with the new tumblers. That'll be, they are, they were sold at the meetup, but they're also going to be on my website soon. And then I have my two types of shirts. I have the Heifer Herd logo, and then I also have the Hot Cowgirl Shit logo. Just some hanging so that you can see them. And then just another blanket on this guy. And then I have storage for actual shirts that are not being hung, just so I have extra sizes. We're an inclusive queen. We have extra small all the way to 4XL. And then this little guy I just really like, so I wanted to make sure I could showcase it. So it's just got some more of the canvases, and then these are the new Moozies. I don't know if you guys have seen those yet. They just launched at the meetup, but I got four fun colors. I might uh, definitely get some more colors and do some regular can, because these are the slim can ones, but I'm just a sucker for a slim can. And then this is probably like my favorite part, because I just think it's so flippin' cute. 
So I have my, the Heifer Please Co sign is a neon sign. It's not lit up, but it's super freaking cute. And then I love the twinkly lights. And then this counter my dad built for me. And then I just wanted a touch of cow print. A lot of people wanted me to accent with a lot more cow print, but personally I just didn't want to because it's not really my thing. I have beef cattle. And as you can tell, not one of my ladies or gents is a black and white Holstein. So but I just thought it was kind of a fun touch and it made it to where when people were doing transactions, it was a lot softer. I do have my beanies in this little basket. These two baskets are just for things that I need when I'm behind the counter. And then my dad also built this. It's just a complete bench seat. It was going to be awkward space regardless. So I was like, let's make it cute. Let's make it a little like couch almost. That way, whether it's me or some of my friends, whoever, while we're out at events, we have a cute little place to hang out. So I just love it. It's like a cute little chair. And then this is just random stuff that doesn't get seen to the public. You can see I nicked the freaking wallpaper. So it's not the cutest there, but this is the view from my little counter. Like I said, I just love it. Like my dad and I put these floors in and then my friend Gretchen and I hung the wallpaper and then a lot, these pieces are from Target. I just built them together. So it was just a process, uh, not a cheap one, but I'm obsessed. I flippin' love it. I think it's so stinking cute. Um, and I'm just we had a great time everyone at the event loved it and so I'm just I'm very proud of it I think it looks so stinking cute like that is just everything to me right there especially when the signs lit up and I think I have plenty of room some people were like oh you need a bigger one and I was like well no because honestly if I you know I eventually will get to a point where I have more to sell at that point I can just get some outdoor racks and have stuff outside as well you know there's never there's no issue there. I have plenty of space I can do other things with. It's not the end of the world. I still have places and areas in this trailer, but it's just so cute. So thank you guys for making this a possibility. Like going and traveling has been something like, I love it. I love having my own business. I love having this little store. So I'm so happy. So now I'm going to take everything in and that way I can do a deeper clean of this so that I can get all the dust and gunk out of it and then I will show you putting everything back together in my office. Don't mind me, I got hot. <laughs> um, I pretty much have almost all of the things out. I use the gator to help me get it to the house. So I think I'm just going to the bottom blanket definitely needs a good wash because it's got some mud and stuff on it. Haven't decided if I'm gonna leave the pillows in the trailer or not because it shouldn't collect much dust since it's, you know, the trailer, like it's inside. So I think I might just like, I have an idea. I'll show you guys. I think, I think my noggin has an idea. So hopefully it makes sense. If not, okay. I have figured myself out. So I've decided to keep things in here. And so I just kind of have like the blankets that are clean. I folded over here, the pillows, the bags. I won't use unless I'm shopping like there are four people who are shopping so the bags can stay in here and then these were just the containers that i had stuff in so all that can be right there and it exposes my bench seat <laughs> it's just plywood <laughs> it's just plywood um this i don't feel like i need in my room for any reason but now the trailer is super bare let me show you so she is empty um obviously i don't need my price breakdown anywhere but yeah she's extremely empty i swept her out really good so now i'm going to just take the swiffer wet jet i'm wearing my slippers to keep it clean <laughs> but uh, i'm gonna swiffer wet jet and then i'm gonna close it up that way i know it's good to sit and chill and then it, the next step is to put my office back together and then to uh get that ready so then next time when i have my next event which is my next event is Ohio FFA convention on May. I think it's May 5th and 6th. I will be there with Julie, no cows. So you can come see us and buy some stuff if you want to, or just come hang out. You can come say hi. That's fine too. But yeah, that is the next event. But this is the, uh, this is the bear looking trailer right now. Let me tell you. Okay. So that is how I'm leaving the trailer. I have a couple rugs. And then, like I said, I really need, I want like some kind of like rubber matting or something just to help this plywood wear better. Um, somebody, I think it was Megan had mentioned at the meetup, like some kind of spray rubber coating. So maybe that might be a good idea. I don't know. Definitely want to do that before the se the next meetup. Cause I want to make sure that it stays as clean as it can. Obviously I know it's not going to be perfect because I'm going to be at a lot of places like fairs and stuff where obviously it can get dirty, but for right now I'd like to keep it as clean as possible. So 
now it's time to close up this shop for just a little bit and then next thing to do is going to be get everything put back together in my office <sighs> i'm so glad i curled my hair just for it to start to fall out because of all the crap that i'm doing but it's okay um so we are back in the office i brought up all the tubs so my office is absolutely chaotic <laughs> love that for me it won't be that bad though honestly to get everything put together i really don't think it'll be that hard so i'll probably just put everything in its place and then do some um inventory so i know how much of what i have so that i know what i can put on my website because hopefully my website should be done and ready to go because i put together my whole website but i just had to wait because i originally bought my website through squarespace but then i built it on godaddy because i think that they're probably pretty similar but i think when i bought the domain originally i was like still really nervous about like owning my own web like building a website because i was like there's no way i can do it and now i'm like oh yeah you can for sure do it <laughs> so that is what i'm doing just organizing putting things up and getting everything ready i have this like random just my things full of just all the shirts that i need to go through but yeah that's what i'm going to be doing for right now so i'll check back in once the office looks a little bit more put together so that's what i get to do yay she looks barren like this usually has all my like i just put the 11 by 14s up like she's bare <laughs> okay but We'll get it looking better. I put my glasses on because my eyeballs were done, but my shop looks a little, well, I shouldn't say shop. I was just saying though, I'm like, my toxic trait is thinking that my office has to look like a shop because that is my, look at, look at this shit. Why do I do this? But anyway, we are way more stuck. So I have my heifer herd shirts. I've got the moozies and then move over here. We got the hot cowgirl shit shirts. And then I got the cups, the blankets for the most part are over here. And then the canvases are back over in this area. And then all the little stuff is on this guy. So I have the stickers, the magnets, and the keychains all in this little guy. Still have room for more things because obviously, you know, I've got to keep adding because we are expanding. Oh, and then of course, plushies always stay under my office. I mean, I have more plushies in the bathroom. That's where I store them. Don't judge me. Okay. Whoever made this bathroom still to you for just giving me the world's tiniest vanity, but then all this weird square footage and i was like well fuck i'll just make it space I'll just make it storage because lord knows i need it so yeah that is kind of how that's going to work and when i do those kind of events it really wasn't that long of a process the lengthiest process is doing the inventory but i believe once i have my website and my little um pos system up like connected i think i should be able to keep a better inventory so that'll be nice because i don't want to count everything every single time so that's the only part that's a little bit tedious but other than that it really isn't that hard the only thing that is my one enemy is this fucking staircase because my office is upstairs so i have to take everything up and down up and down and up but you know what i might lose a few pounds <laughs> just thank you staircases i guess for that but um i'm gonna go ahead and sign off of here I don't know if this was a video people wanted. It's a video that I did though, because I thought it'd be kind of fun to just see the business side. Cause sometimes people are really excited about that. Sometimes people like to see the behind the scenes kind of vlog style of owning my business from the boo boo is you're not allowed in the office when there's stuff because you lay on all the blankets and shirts. And then what if somebody's allergic to cats and she likes to throw up on things, how rude. But <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a like go ahead and subscribe to me and my channel all my other links are down below but other than that i will catch you in the next video all right peace